With 1.2 billion active users, Gmail has become the most popular email service there is. If you're like me, you've probably created a personal Gmail account a long time ago, which you probably check several times per day. If you run your own business and you've set up a website, I'm pretty certain you've also created, at the very least, one business email account in the process, which you also check several times per day. Do you find it annoying to keep logging in and out of your business email account and your personal Gmail account? Wouldn't it be nice to manage your client's email and personal emails all at once from your Gmail account? If you think so, stay tuned so I can show you how. Hi there, I'm Luke Durand, the founder of RankingAcademy.co.uk, where I help small business owners like you improve their online visibility so you can get more visitors, more leads, more clients, and of course, make more money. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure you do it now and hit the bell button so you get notified first as soon as I publish a new video. This tutorial is for those of you who already run a website and have set up one or more business email addresses and want to make their life easy by using their Gmail accounts to manage them. Today, you will learn how to forward your business emails to your Gmail account, how to set up your business email into your Gmail account, and finally, how to respond to your business emails directly from your Gmail account so it looks like it is sent from your business email address. Are you ready? Let's go. Step one, forward your business emails to your Gmail account. For the purpose of this video, I have created a dummy Gmail account under the name of William Hackinen at gmail.com. And I have also created a simple form on my website where all messages will be sent to the following email address, demo at rankingacademy.co.uk. So something very similar that you may have on your own website. I'm now gonna log into my web hosting company through my control panel. So something very, very similar to what you may have. And I'm gonna access the mail area from where I can check the inbox of the demo at rankingacademy.co.uk email I've just set up. So I'm gonna just look at the number of emails that I currently have in, in this inbox. I've got a few deleted emails as you can see. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna submit a message through my form to show you that those messages are actually landing into that demo email inbox. Okay, let's submit that. And let's open the inbox and refresh. And there you go. You can see the message has been delivered. And it says exactly what I typed in the business email inbox I've created. Now we've verified the emails from the form are being sent to the business email address. Uh, let's put the forwarding in place. Let's open the Gmail dummy account I've created, williamhackinen at gmail.com. Since this is a fresh account, there are only three emails from Gmail in the inbox. I am now gonna log back into the control panel of my web hosting company and select the email option and click on the email I have set up for this demo. So demo at rankingacademy.co.uk. I'm gonna click on the tab called forwarding and set up the actual forwarding email. In this instance, I'm gonna forward every email that goes to the demo at rankingacademy.co.uk to williamhackinen at gmail.com and click okay. You should all be able to do that with any of the web hosting company you're using. Going back to the main email screen shows me that the forwarding has actually been implemented correctly. Let's verify this is the case and go back to the online form and submit a new message. Now the new message has been submitted, let's verify if it has arrived into the williamhackinen at gmail.com inbox. I'm gonna quickly refresh my inbox and as you can see, the new message has arrived and is displayed correctly. This brings us to the end of step one. Let's now move on to step two set up your business email into your Gmail account. Okay, let's go back to William Hackinen Gmail account and click on the clock on the top right hand side corner and select settings. Once you're in the settings area, select the accounts and import option and click on the add another email address link. 
This will open a pop-up where you can start adding information about your business email address, which you want to use within your Gmail account. By default, you should see your name in the name field. So delete that and replace it by the business name that you want to use and add the business email address that you also want to use. In this instance, let's use the demo at rankingacademy.co.uk. Untick the treat as an alias box and click on next step. In this screen, you should be able to configure your email. By default, Google would have identified your SMTP server because you've already created an email that exists. Simply change the username to your business email address and add the actual password, then click Add Account. Leave everything else as it is. You will now be asked to enter a verification code to confirm that the email address you're just adding to your Gmail account exists and therefore you should be able to get that verification code from that email address so let's go and check it out in the demo at rankingacademy.co.uk inbox so in my inbox uh, you can see i have received an email from gmail team which includes a confirmation code which i can now copy and paste in that verification box we've just seen your business email address should now be added to the option of your Gmail account. Let's verify this is the case by trying to send an email. As you can see, you can actually send emails from your personal account, but also from your business account. And this takes us to the end of step two. Let's now bring it all together in step three. Respond to your business emails directly from your Gmail account so it looks like it is sent from your business email. So I'm going to use another email account pretending that I'm some potential client and I've actually set this theme so it is blue so you can really tell the difference. I'm going to compose an email and send it to demo at rankingacademy.co.uk and send it. Now the message is sent. I'm going to check the inbox of William Hackinen to see if I have received it. And sure enough, I have. Now I want to reply to this, but I want to reply to it using my business email address because this is what is used to contact me. So I just need to click on reply and click into the name field and that will bring a from option from which I can choose which email I want to reply from. And here I've just chosen demo at rankingacademy.co.uk. Now all I need to do is check the other inbox to see if the reply has been received and it sure has. You can see the message has been sent using the business email address without having to log into your web hosting company. You can also do this via a form on your website. You would have to capture the email address of the sender. So I've updated my form on my website so we can test this. Let's send a test message using the same email address. Let's check the William Hackinen at rankingacademy.co.uk. And all you need to do is click on reply, copy the email address from the message, remove the default one and replace it with your customer's one. Type your text, choose your business address and then click send. Let's now verify if our client has received our email and it has from our business email address once again without having to log into your web hosting company. That's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Best of luck setting up your business email into your Gmail account. And if you can, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, please post them in the box below and I'll see you soon for a new tutorial.